How do we know there are other star systems, and are they like ours? Our solar system is just one of countless others in the universe. More than 4,000 planetary systems have already been discovered in our galaxy alone. Most are so far away that telescopes can see the stars directly, but not the planets, so how do we know they're there? Many were detected using what's called the transit method, which can be illustrated by the example of a solar eclipse here on Earth. When the moon's orbit takes it between us and the sun, it casts a shadow here on Earth. When it covers the sun completely, it grows dark here. When a distant planet crosses between us and its star, the light from it also appears to us to dim just a little. In a telescope, the star flickers very slightly. The transit method can even be used to determine whether distant planets have atmospheres. An exoplanet can also be detected via the movement of the star it orbits. As the planet moves around the star, its gravity causes the much larger body to wobble a little. That changes its light spectrum, and we can see that. If the planet is moving towards us, the light from its star shifts towards the blue part of the spectrum. If it's moving away from us, the star's light grows more reddish. The first exoplanetary system discovered has at least six planets. Eight planets circle our own sun, four rocky worlds close in, and four gas giants on more distant orbits. Another planetary system identical to ours has yet to be discovered, but one around 2,500 light years away looks at least somewhat similar. Kepler 90 also has eight planets with rocky worlds on the inside tracks and gas giants farther out. However, all of them orbit closer to their star than the Earth is to the Sun. So that's where the similarities end.